Um, we did a good job with drive, kick, swing. You know, we got into the paint, made the right pass, made the right play. Um, some shots we did turn down that we should have shot, but um, for, you know, for the most part, I thought we did a good job of just getting into the paint, reading the defense, and taking what the defense gives you. And I'm having 25 assists, and you know, finally making you know 15 threes, um, shooting 45 percent. You know, so um, I thought all the guys played well. You know, and despite them coming out and going up 10, I thought we did a good job of keeping our poise and. Um, staying with the game plan, and like I said, PG was great. You know, he was special. You know, I thought Zoo was big. John came off the bench; he was really big. And you know, Reggie shot the ball down uh, well down the stretch. Zoo has been like consistently playing really, really well. What is it that you've seen from him in terms of his, is his growth, his confidence? Yeah, I think it's you know it's um, a combination of both. But I think you know just being able to play meaningful minutes last year and playing in the fourth quarter and the year before that playing in the fourth quarter and um, getting that. Um, getting that experience of playing in fourth quarters and, and playing down the stretch, I think was huge for him. And like I said before last year, being able to post him up a little bit more to take advantage of mismatches, I thought he did a really good job. So that helped with his confidence as well. But um, he's been playing at an elite, elite level right now. You lost Kennard for the last three quarters of the game. Is there any update on him? Yeah, he's fine. Um, just had some chest discomfort. And so we just want to make sure we're cautious you know, with the situation. Um, that's the most important thing. No, he's he's flying back with us. Yes, sir. Um, what did you um, what do you make of just the switch you did that second unit? Not to keep harping on it, but it goes from a seventeen point lead to a four point deficit at half. It started with the you know leading the starters in at that timeout. Right? Yeah. So it wasn't just to start with them, but it's yeah. it continued with them. What um, the I think just just playing the game the right way. You know, um, that's going to be our, our biggest challenge, just playing the game the right way and um, understanding not having a roller in that unit makes it tough because teams are switching one through five. But, you know, we just got to keep working at it, you know. Um, you know, again, I didn't like the way it looked tonight. It was it was uh, tough for us offensively. So, um, like I said, it's my job to make sure we get better with that and my will, you know, for sure. But we just got to keep working at it. You know, not, we haven't had a lot of practice time. so. You know, we got to take advantage of our shoot arounds and our walkthroughs in the ballroom or whatever we have just to make sure that uh, we can continue to get that, that second unit up to speed. They were, like they were giving T Man threes, they were kind of letting John shoot mid range. What do you think of the shot selection in that second unit? In that first it wasn't round? good. You know, we talked about it before the game that, you know, they're going to go under. Um, they're third in the league at going under screens and pick and rolls, and so we can't fall um, into the trap of just taking the first early quick shot. And I thought we did that. Um, to end the first quarter and early on in the second quarter. And so um, you just got to play through the game, you know, um, because if they're going under to start, they're probably going to go under to finish, so you can get that shot anytime. So we just got to understand and realize that that we just can't take it personal when teams go under. Um, John played, you know, he had a big night tonight. I think he played the last 18 minutes roughly the game. Obviously, he only played 15 in Houston. Did you two have any sort of talk um, the last couple of days about what you want to see from him differently? No, I think it's you know it's been tough. Like I said, playing with the second unit and not having a roller. Like he thrives on pick and rolls, getting downhill, the five man rolling. Either got the lob or the skip pass to the corner, and and so it's been tough on him. It's been a tough adjustment, you know, for him. And um, I got to try to find ways to, you know, finagle the game where we can get Zoo out early and maybe getting Zoo back with that uh, second unit a little bit more, and then bringing Nico in earlier with that first unit. So, you know, it's, but it's tough because, you know, we had two great starts to the game, you know, in Houston last game and, you know, this game here. And so it's kind of tough to want to play with that and adjust to that when you're, you know, you're up 16, 17, 18 points in the first quarter. So um, it's just something we got to continue to keep playing with. And, um, you know, when he's playing well like he did tonight in that second half, then, you know, he's going to continue to keep playing, you know, and play, he played at a high level tonight. Yeah, I mean, when, yeah, what's in the floor of the offense and, and guys to penetrate, kick, we swing, swing, you get, you got to take it. Like, there's nothing else left, you know. But just the tough ones, you know, early on, just um, we got to monitor that. But, I mean, you know, when you're used to being, you know, the, the guy, you know, everywhere he's been, you know, it's kind of tough. But, like I said, it's not bad shots. But, I mean, you know, when you have, you know, PG and Kawhi and guys on the floor, Marcus, if you get into the paint, you know, with the passing ability that he has, like, we'd be even more dangerous, you know. So 
Um, just got to continue to keep working on it. Yeah. Shooting, uh, rebounding. Um, just a guy that moves without the basketball, moving off the ball, and then another guy you can't help off of. You know, so um, you know it was tough. You know, but the the big thing, the most important thing, is that he was he's okay. Um, in the second half, not the first half. I thought um, we kind of mixed our combinations up, so they you know they they had to um, play more man. But when they went zone. Now you got PG, Reggie, Marcus, and those guys out there. Um, it's, it's, it's a tough cover. It looks a little different. Thank you.